Lisa Schroeder, the executive chef and owner of Mother's Bistro and Bar, Mamma Mia Trotteria, and the author of Mother's Best Cookbook. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about knives, something a lot of people don't know a lot about. First of all, what kind of knives should you have? Forget the whole match set. You don't need that. What do you need? You need a chef's knife, anywhere from 8 to 10 inches. Um, this is your all-purpose knife. You're going to use this for cutting, chopping, dicing, cutting meat. This is your all-purpose general knife. You need a paring knife. This is for the small stuff. You want to peel an onion, pare a potato, cut something small. That's what you need a paring knife for. Not for everything, just for the small stuff. This is a bread knife, great for cutting bread and tough stuff like root vegetables, carrots, and beets. But I wouldn't use it on things like onions or tomatoes. It'll make it a raggedy edge, and you don't want to see that in your diced items. The edge of a knife is like so, and when you sharpen a knife, you kick up the little bit of metal shards on the edge of the knife. Well, you've got to get rid of those shards or they create resistance when you're trying to cut something. So you need something called a steel to hone the knife. That gets rid of those rickety edges that make cutting so unpleasant. So that's what a steel is for. They come in diamond or just a regular steel. comes with every set. This is a stone. A stone is what you need to sharpen a knife. When you buy a stone, you have to decide when you first buy it. Is it a water stone or an oil stone? If it's a water stone, then all you have to do to use it is wet it with water. If you decide it's an oil stone, you have to buy mineral oil in order to moisten the stone for sharpening. There are usually two sides to your stone, a coarse side and a fine side. You want to start out with the coarse side, holding your knife at a 45 degree angle and running it along the same side the same amount of times for each side. P.S. I put a moist cloth underneath my cutting board and it keeps that steady and not moving. You can also use paper towel if you don't have an extra rag. Now, how do I tell if my knife is sharp? Run your fingertip along the edge of the knife. And if you can feel the ridges in your fingerprint, your knife is probably sharp enough. Doesn't feel sharp enough? Go back and repeat, but the same time on each side. Now, you think your knife is sharp. Now we've got to get rid of the metal shards. So, laying your knife just on the steel, in this case I'm using a diamond steel, just let it lay on top of the steel and run your knife along it do not point your knife at the steel or all that work you just did, you get rid of it immediately. It must lay on the steel and that will get rid of the extra shards that were kicked up as you sharpen the knife. And then feel it, ah, sharp. And if you're not sure if it's sharp enough, try to slice a tomato. If it doesn't work, you need to go back to the drawing board and sharpen your knife some more. But don't forget, hone it, honing, not sharpening, after you're done. And you can do that periodically as you're cutting, hone the knife and get rid of those shards that are kicked up by the work you're doing.